Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of our crafty camper van build. Yep, a few days have passed since Boxing Day. It's in fact now um, New Year's Eve. You have to apologise my nasalness, but I have picked up the lurgy. <laughs> I think you might have given it to me as well. I like to share. Oh, thank you for so much. <laughs> so we've got a few things done in the van since we um, last showed you. We've taken off all the grotty side panelling and had a look to see what the state of the metal was underneath. You found quite a few holes, didn't you? I found holes in the wheel arches. It looks like something had been mounted there, but a bit of fibreglass has sorted that out. Yeah, uh, no, no holes were rust holes or anything. No, They're all no, drilled no. holes all, for, all, for things. All there on purpose, <clears throat> but uh, those are now plugged up uh, and sealed. And we've treated all the, the drilled holes with rust. Yeah, so where the ply panels were screwed into the bodywork, that's been... Um, it's been rust treated and spray painted over to make sure we don't get any rust coming through there. Yeah. I was actually quite happy once we got the panels off to see how good the underlying paintwork actually was. It is. It's really good. It's yeah. um. It's, it's like new. Yeah. It's just dirty. It was from dirty. The rubber. The, the, the tire dust, but dust. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a dustbin uh, bag full of um, blue cloths and cleaning fluid that's impregnated with all that lovely rubberness. And lots of isopropyl alcohol that's being consumed yes. <laughs> onto paper into the van. <laughs> so relatively speaking, the van is now looking a little bit like an operating theatre. Well, definitely in comparison. Very to bright. It was, it's very bright in here, yes. <laughs> we spent quite a, a, an amount of time yesterday um, sitting and measuring out different things. So we've measured out how far the bed's going to come to, um, we've measured where, how far across the kitchen's going to come, where the seats are going to be, just so we had a better idea of um, the layout yes. and the placement of the windows. It was all well and good, you know, <coughs> thinking of you know, how a layout would be, but then you, you got, <coughs> Excuse you've me. got constraints. You know, the bed itself is you know, a large thing. You've got to have the bed in place before you can work out what to do with the rest of the furniture. You know, the bed mm. is the biggest thing. Even though we, f we have flip-flopped with going with... Um, parallel bench seats that convert into a bed to have the fixed bed um, I think the fixed bed is the main thing that we've decided that that's what we want we want yeah. the fixed bed and that is it you a, know. Bit, a bit of market <laughs> research also indicates that you know most people seem to prefer that particular layout so that's what we're going to do those choices are made for a reason and you know this is a bit of a you know common sense slash majority does seem to to win out yeah. If we wanted a long bed fixed, then we'd have to get a much longer wheelbase van. Yeah, we did mark out how much how, how much space a bed would take up, um, but it literally, um, if we had a front to back, north to south bed, the end of the bed came right up to the sliding door panel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it would it, the, the, it would have been like the bed was the most imposing thing um, in the whole van if if we'd have done that. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't it just wasn't an option for this van, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, it's not really an option for many vans to have a fixed bed north to yeah, south. I think if you had an extra metre, metre and a half of length and you do get vans that long, then it would work yeah, out quite nicely. Yeah. So we're looking at the yeah, the, the longer um, Iveco van, yeah. the seven and a half tonners. Those ones will be long enough for, for that kind of job. So we've put up some sound deadening. Um, the, the kind of rule of thumb is 30% of a panel. Um, we are waiting for some more to some more dodo matting to arrive. Um, I, I went slapping it up left, right and centre and then realised that yeah. I hadn't we, even looked at the roof. <laughs> yeah. Our first box contained uh, 30 sheets of dodo matting and we've done a you know, quick calculation and worked out that you know another 20 should see us through. Yeah. Yeah. So over here where the, the window is going to go and on that side of yeah. course... Obviously you know, I left those. You're going to leave those. The metal's going to be coming out. Yeah. And that's, uh, that brings us round to today's job. What did you do this morning on the computer? So we we ordered a couple of bits and pieces. Yeah, including windows. We now yeah. have windows. Yeah, so We've decided the, what we're doing with windows. Yeah. We had to get the layout down first before deciding where to put the windows because, you know, once the window's in, it's in. You're not going to be able to move it very easily or at all. Yeah. So it's stuck now. And with the layout that we've decided, um, we had to sit down and look what DVLA stated as the legal requirements to change a van to a camper van. And it, you had to have two additional windows on the same side yeah i think that's up to interpretation but we don't care yeah um and for us to adding two windows on one 
of the sides it didn't matter which side it just didn't work for 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 what we're doing so we've decided that we're not going to go to the hassle of com- once it's converted registering as camp van i might we might try it we might some people say that it's basically it's a culminative thing so if you made the effort to do this that that and the other mm. things like having the two windows well when it's obviously a camper van that will get um the rubber yeah. stamp yeah but we'll, it we'll doesn't see. matter to us no. at the end of the day so if it's a van or a camper van <coughs> On its documentation, it's still going to be a camper van to us. Yeah. So we've got a good good majority of the sound deadening done. When the next box arrives, we'll finish off and do the ceiling and the rest of the panels that need doing. But today, we are going to use the grinder. Yep. <laughs> um, although I'm a little worried because the guard doesn't fit with the current blade. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. Um, we're going we're gonna to have... There's, there's two um, panels for windows and there's two support struts that need to come off. So Pete's going to do one and I'm going to do one. Yep. And um, yeah, we'll show you in action with some sparks flying, a bit of an action. That's I'm trying we... to make it sound exciting <laughs> and amazing. So we've also decided that um, while we're going to be grinding and making sparks, the, the great big black bulkhead that's behind us is going to stay in there and it's going to protect um, yeah. <laughs> the soft finishings in the cab area for now. Yeah. Bulkhead staying up as long as we can until we've cut anything metal because metal yeah, yeah. you do get bits of filings. The, the swore from the the saws and the um, sparks from the grinder. I None can't wait to get to the, the bulkhead down because it's going to look so different without it. It's going to really open up yeah. the van. Yeah. Um, but hey, you yeah, know. without giving away too much of the rest of the layout. <laughs> yeah. Um, the bulkhead being gone is going to make um, the whole thing work a whole lot better for us. Yeah, but um, yeah. So without further ado. Let's get out the grinder, put on the appropriate safety wear, <laughs> and make some spaces ready to cut window holes when they arrive. When I, I mean, we, we knew it existed once we took off the um, covers off of the wheel arches. One in particular is really mangled. <laughs> I mean, it looks like someone's been playing. Um, Bounce the tire. <laughs> say, or using it as a drum, using hammers <laughs> as drumsticks. It's in an awful mess. Um, so we've decided we're going to box over both wheel arches. Um, I know that it's going to be in the garage area and under the bed, so they're not really going to be seen, but I still don't. Even when I carpet it, it's still going to look lumpy and bumpy. So we are going to box those in because... We have some electrical equipment <clears throat> that is going to fit nicely onto those boxes. Certainly, we're thinking of doing the electrical installation on the driver's side. The driver's side of the van. Yeah, that way. <laughs> We're facing the back We're of the facing van. facing the back. And the emergency exits are here, here <laughs> and here. <laughs> <coughs> and on the other side, I think it's going to be nice to have a you know some rack storage in the side of the garage. Yeah, I think we'll build a 
a bit of storage with a couple of shelves. So it's going to be yeah, shelf at the top of the wheel height, and I think one more shelf. Yeah. Looking at it, it's nice having now. a big garage space, but if it's only one level, the only way to go is up, and then have to it's going to be, be a mess and mm-hmm. trying to find something for the. So yeah, we're going to put in make some organised storage. Yeah, we'll as make well. some organised storage on the sides. There's still going to be a clear channel in the middle. Yeah. Should you want to, should we want to pop in a um, bicycle, a bicycle or something yeah. like that? Yeah. Yeah, um, having a nice garage space is is nice. I mean, uh, that's one thing we had with with Herb, our yeah. old mobile. That's one thing we missed, and, and that's missed what that we thought. Roxy. You yeah. know, a we're f- we're fed up of keep making the bed every night. Yep. So a fixed bed is fantastic. Yep. Um, B because it's fixed, you don't have to worry about f- storage for your bedding, which we have to do every day. Yep. Um, and number two, w- you know, we have we still don't have a great amount of storage. So if we've got a nice big garage, you've got plenty of storage. Yep. And you know, we we were going to design it so that the space is used um, as purposefully as we as we can make it. Yep. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Get excited! We've actually got proper plans now. Yes, <laughs> having the planners um, stopped us bouncing. We were a little bit all over the oh. place. Are we going to do it this way, that way, the other way? Who's driving? Uh, yeah, I'm a planner. I love to plan things. Pete doesn't. When, but when I say plan things, it's like yeah. if we go on holidays or stuff yeah. like that. I love to organise. I he do. Doesn't. I do quite a bit of planning at work, um, and therefore, like leisure activities, normally I don't want to <laughs> put on my work head as it were. But you know, it, it comes to a point where you know you just got to. But this project yeah. is definitely something to, that needs you've planning. Got to, yeah. You've got to do <laughs> it. Because we've just yeah. been flip flop, flip yeah. flop. If flip, I'm going flop. on my other days, I just want to go. Yeah. If we're doing something that needs quite a bit of um, project. Planning, if we're going to make any prog- progress and yeah. move forward, we need to sub- yeah. have a plan. So we've got to build this thing logically. Um, it's as if you were baking a cake. You don't start off by putting the icing on top of thin air. You yeah. need the actual cake, <laughs> that um, stuff, you know, desil, the devil exudent marzipan. Would, I really would you, hate would it. You, yeah. Would you be referring yeah. to me like wanting to order plants and decorations already? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> There's no woodwork in the van, apart from the, the manky floor that we've got, and that's got to get ripped out. Uh, that's another thing we're going to take out post-grinding and... Yeah. Um, jigsawing of metal again this is going to look a whole lot different once this manky floor is out yeah. it is it's yeah. we've already mentioned the holes <laughs> and we've shown you what the floor looks like it's not yeah. it's not very nice no. yeah but step yeah. by step you know you have to make use of things as they are at the moment yeah. it has a purpose yeah so it stays that's it for this week's video in the meantime we've been getting along with a lot of other tasks including driving to a nearby town which is quite cheesy <laughs> <laughs>